forecast with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. Just wanted to pull up this camera for a check out Santiam Pass right now. The flakes are flying. And so uh, this is just a taste of what you're going to be seeing if you're doing any traveling over the mountain passes as snow levels will continue to drop as we head into the day Wednesday, where we're going to see several more inches of snow coming down. And then Thursday, of course, the big day for all of us when it comes to the heavy rain and the heavy snow in the mountains. Tomorrow, the big travel day, and it is going to be wet, and we're going to have wet roads right off the bat. Look at all this heavy rain pushing in. To Portland from Wilsonville up to Tiger, Portland, Gresham, out east along I 84. All of that that you see highlighted in orange, that means it is coming down at quite the clip very heavily. And so that can mean rain totals going up very quickly. Uh, Cascades, of course, getting the snow. And then you can see more showers pushing in from the coast range, but you can see some breaks. And so we're going to see as a transition from the steady rain that we have seen all night tonight to more of a scattered shower activity. But when those showers come in, it's in the form of downpours. The next front's on the way, and that moves in Thursday, and actually it's going to move in very early Thursday morning, so by midnight tomorrow night, we're going to start to see that rain kick in, and then it is just going to be relentless as we tap into much deeper moisture than what we're seeing even tonight. So tonight down to 45 degrees, could see a quarter to half an inch by morning. Uh, here's a look at future radar, and you can see the showers rolling on through. 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, look at this, scattered showers, and boy, is it going to be messy if you're headed west in the Cascades, that mountain snow coming down. Breaks here and there for the metro area by 7.30. Here's another wave of heavy showers. So you may get an hour or two break, and then you may get another hour where it's just coming down at quite the clip. So that's going to be how Wednesday plays out, maybe even a little bit of thunder from time to time. So your hour-by-hour -hour forecast for your Wednesday, the big travel day for the metro, and really this goes for the entire valley, up and down I-5. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, topping out in the upper 40s to around 50, with showers on and off for most of the day, and then more steady heavy rain as we go through tomorrow night. So rain totals by the time we finish off tomorrow will be around half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Uh, so we'll add a little bit more tomorrow. By 11 o'clock, look at this. We're starting to add another inch or two. So just on Thanksgiving alone, an inch or two of rain is possible for the valley and then of course more than that for the coast and by the time we get into the weekend uh, we're looking at those rain totals approaching four and maybe even five inches in some spots. Now how does that translate in snow? Well right now the snow level is just above 4,000 feet. It's going to drop so between now and tomorrow, we've already picked up three inches of rain at the ski resorts at Timberline and at Mount Hood Meadows. Three to seven inches tonight, another one to three inches Wednesday, Thursday, eight to 14 inches. And then we're looking at several more inches, perhaps another foot or so as we head into the weekend. So we're talking at least two feet of snow possibly for our resorts. And so that means those passes are going to get quite nasty to travel on. Travel conditions for the Blue Mountains, uh, snow Wednesday starting tomorrow, through Friday night to Saturday, chains and traction tires. Coast range may see a little bit of slush, but not as bad there. Siskiyou, snowy roads, you'll want to make sure you have the chains uh, carried with you there. And then for the travel conditions for the gorge, heavy rain at times Wednesday through Sunday. Government camp, snowy roads, and then Sandy and Pass definitely want to need to get those chains or traction tires. So lots of heavy rain ahead. Here's your Wednesday forecast. Low 50s tomorrow, windy at the coast. Thursday, wet and windy. And then Friday, we continue to see the wet weather. In fact, it sticks around through the weekend with highs in the upper 40s. All right, Kristen. Still ahead, 